Hello YouTube, this is Ma Yun Jae and today what I'm going to show you is a new ROM modified by me. Uh, this is a Chinese ROM uh, that thanks to the Asian, uh, he's a Skype member and also a YouTube member. He's been helping me a lot and uh, <clears throat> thanks to him I obtained this ROM and I was able to modify it. Uh, basically what this ROM gives you is starting from the lock screen. You get now the shortcut for the camera as you can see right here okay now it's easier to access your camera now you don't have that long slide to unlock okay the camera still has the same options as before uh, from the drop down notifications now you can actually add weather widgets to it and as you can see it looks more like iOS okay another thing uh, great about this ROM is also the message application as you can see here from the uh, the messaging app is more like iOS is better the fonts are, are more like iOS uh, I believe is is much more smoother it's faster so uh, you know there's scary things about this ROM also it has the iLaunch already on it and um, it's been improved uh, let me show you here the aspects the system info from this ROM okay so you can see version you know here you see all the system information okay from top to bottom and yes this is the goof phone okay this is not the iPhone 4s and uh, again you still get the um, a much smoother task killer okay it works very well let me show you okay it's very smooth um, let's see uh, also the calendar application has been modified as you can see it looks more like iOS okay and to install this is very very simple okay I have this time it's not a backup it's actually a, uh, a ROM uh, but let me see and basically you get all the English stuff like uh, Google Maps you get the actual YouTube application as you can see you get the YouTube application as well you can see the lock screen has changed now you have the camera shortcut uh, again you know it's very smooth very fast uh, the message app has changed the uh, calendar has changed also the camera is, is a slightly faster and this is actually iTunes it's actually a nice little app that gives you access to your uh, music it's like a, um, how do I say this? It's like a music library. Uh, you know, it divides your music into genres and all that good stuff. Um, let's see here. So here you can browse all your music, and you know, it'll it'll scan all your local music, and you know, tell you the name of the artists and all that good stuff. Okay. Um, let's see here. Settings is basically still the same. Okay, as you can see, it's very smooth. It's, almost everything is still the same here uh, let me see I'm just thinking about what are the great things oh also when you receive a text message it works like iOS it will show here more uh, it says uh, you have a message and it will show it more like iOS style okay that's another improvement done to this ROM let's see here and then you get all the other goodies I have installed the uh, GPS and um, you know all these other software that you're actually going to use and need um, also the music icon has been improved before it was giving you the iPod icon on the previous ROMs and uh, once again to get this you must flash uh, 0805 if you haven't done so you can't do this straight from 2.3.6 you have to flash um, the uh, 0805 ROM and there's a video here I'm going to post a link below and then uh, this is just your flash this ROM is easy to flash you basically just connect your phone to your computer okay second thing you do you drop down notification you click connect USB and then you hit turn on and then OK now here in your computer you're gonna see the actual folder coming up soon there we go let me just try to Sorry, there we go. Okay, so here you see it. You close this. You're gonna put it on the main SD card. Mine is H. 
you can locate this your main SD card is usually going to be uh, either 8 or 16 or whatever uh, memory you have so you go to computer okay and then I'm gonna put it on the one that says uh, 17 gigs as you can see I'm gonna choose this one so that's my uh, removable disk H not the one on the I you can do that as well but I usually prefer doing it on the main one okay so basically from the link below you're gonna download my ROM my modify ROM and then you're gonna place it on your desktop once you place it on your desktop you're gonna right click and then you're gonna send it to the H folder okay let me just show you that so you're gonna hit send to and then you're gonna select the H okay just make sure you select the H1 or whichever is your main SD card uh, come on there you go so I already have it um, I'm just going to do it again. So I'm going to hit copy and replace. Okay. Okay, guys. So once it's done, now you're going to come back to your phone. Now you're going to turn off USB storage. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to power off your phone. You're gonna power it off. Okay, now once your phone is powered off, you're gonna press and hold the minus button, and then press the power button, and you're gonna feel a vibration, then you'll let it go. Now you're gonna see the Apple logo, and then you're gonna say recovery mode. Once you see that, now we're gonna uh, wipe data. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll t three times down, and then you're gonna select the enter button. Then you're going to go down and you're going to wipe all data. You can also do a backup if you like. Then you're going to clear catchy. So from the top, you're going to select clear catchy right there. It's the uh, fourth option. Okay, once you do that, now you can see there it says. Uh, whatever I think it says clear and then catchy. So now you're gonna press enter. Done. Now you're gonna go to uh, the SD blood zip and you're gonna press enter. Now you're gonna select SD2. Okay. Press enter. Once you uh, are in this page, you're gonna go to the very bottom where it says Mayan J Modern ROM 1009. You're going to highlight it and then you're going to select enter. Now you're going to scroll down, highlight uh, the name of my ROM again, and then you're going to flash it. Okay? Now you're going to press enter and it's going to start doing this thing. Okay? It should take about a minute or two. Also, with this ROM, it saves a lot of battery. And once again, you wait here until it's flashed. It's going to take like a minute, minute or two. Just be patient. There you go. It's done. So once it's done, now you're going to select back. This one. Okay. And now you're just going to select uh, reboot. It's already highlighted for you. And now you're just going to wait until it flash. It's going to uh, boot up. It's going to take the first boot. It's going to be like about a minute and a half. Okay. Now that it has boot up. This is what I'm talking about. You're going to see the Chinese symbols. Just give it some time. Okay, I chose the iLauncher. So you're going to select, uh, use by default. I like iLauncher 10 times better. To go back, menu, and all those good things, you're going to use this app right here. As you can see, it gives you the option to go back, it gives you the option for menu, go home, and such. Okay? Now here, as you can see, now it's in English, okay? It went itself to it. It's just at the first boot. It won't do this forever, okay? Now there are certain apps, such as Photos. It's still named in uh, Chinese, so what you do is you hold it, like if you were going to delete it, then you tap it, and it's going to give you the, the option to change title. So here you can just change title. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back twice, delete that. There we go. So
So you're going to delete it. And once you delete it, now you're going to write um, uh, photos. So you're going to capital P, and you know you can name it whatever you want. Okay. So once you select photos, there you go. That did the magic. No longer the Chinese symbols. Okay. And you can do that for any other app like uh, TT uh, Pod. This one you can also change it. So you tap it one more time. Change title, and then you're going to delete this, and I'm going to select um, iTunes. There we go. So iTunes, and now you see it renamed it. Okay, and uh, once again, you know you have that option with this. You can also uh, change the icon. The, uh, the Play Store is working. The only thing is a little bit deorganized, but you can just, you know, organize your apps uh, uh, accordingly, however you want them. But when you flash your ROM, I, you know, they're going to be a little bit scattered all over the place, but you can organize them and uh, get that done and fixed, okay? Uh, I hope you like this ROM. And again, it's, it's free. I've done a lot of work. Uh, I appreciate um, if you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions, concerns, and uh, I'll be more than glad to answer them for you. Have a good one, and thanks for watching.